Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things. We're going to look at getting special directories from the computer and also um, setting attributes for files so you can even write hidden files to a computer to store information that you don't want the user to change by accident. So let's go ahead and delete this right here from form one load and what we're going to do is we're going to get the my documents folder so we'll type textbox one dot text and we're going to set that equal to my dot computer dot file system dot special directories dot and you can see that we have desktop my documents my music my pictures, program files, programs, temp, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to be using my documents. So now what we need to do is we need to read a file from that. So we'll type file dot read all text and we're going to use the path from my documents. Now we're going to need to add a, a string to this. So in order to allow us to use the backslash we have to type the at character backslash hello dot text and let's see here looks like I was getting my uh, C sharp mixed up with Visual Basic we don't actually need the at character right there so we're gonna read all the text from my documents and then hello dot text so Let's go ahead and open up my documents and I will find hello.txt. So here it is right here. We'll just write some stuff in there. Um, YouTube Visual Basic. We'll go ahead and save that. Close out. Okay. So now let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that it's going to load on Live Gamer, YouTube, and Visual Basic into our uh, textbox one dot text so we can also use uh, like I said we can get pictures we can get uh, program files whatever you want and this is very useful if you want to get certain files from the computer and you don't know where those will be let's say you're distributing distributing your app and not everybody's going to use the same folder for my documents so you're going to want to use this to get special directories now we can also set attributes of a file to make it hidden. So now that we've read all the text of this, let's go ahead and make it um, hidden. So file dot set attributes, and for the first argument, we're going to need path as string. So we'll just type my computer dot file system dot special directories dot my documents then we'll go ahead and get hello dot text for our second argument we're going to need our file attributes so since we've already imported system dot io all we need to do is type file attributes instead of system dot io dot file attributes and you can see here that we've got archive compressed device directory encrypted hidden normal um, offline whatever we want now let's go ahead and set this to hidden so let's go ahead and run this it's going to load everything into our text box and let's close out of that and head back into the my documents folder and let's see where is hello it is not there let me set this to pretty sure I have it set to view hidden uh -huh. so well, let's view hidden files and folders and hello is there it is hidden let me shrink this down a bit for you so here is our hello file and you can see that it, ha it has a sort of transparent text document right there. Now that means that it is hidden. So go ahead, um, 
play around with getting special directories and setting file attributes. And then once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.